everyone. I hope you all are having a great week so far. It is Thursday, August 3rd, and for the past four days now, I've actually had my B1 light kit. On Monday, I drove all the way up to Nashville. I went to Dury's, and I wrote out a really big check for my lights. I brought them home, and I sat them here in the office. <laughs> um, this is not because I wasn't excited about my lights. In fact, I was so ecstatic. I was driving my boyfriend crazy all last week, like, my light kit is coming in. My light kit is coming in, and my coworkers as well. Um, so Monday arrived. I got my lights, and then I brought them here. And to keep myself from ripping the boxes to shred and not doing a really cool video, to show um, for you and for myself. Um, I waited until Tuesday night once I got off work. I set it all up and then I made sure that I did this video just so that way I could show everything that came with the kit that I bought, specifically the two light kit um, for the B1s and then also the different accessories that I bought to go with it. With that being said, you probably noticed that I forgot to do something. Um, so. I did my research, I thought, and got everything I thought I needed, and then I got home and I started the whole unboxing ceremony, and come to find out there is one piece that was missing from the softbox part. Um, I thought it came with it, I thought everything you needed came in that box for the softbox, but apparently not. There's this thing called a, an o, OCF speed ring, and that is what you put the poles for the light kit or the softbox in, and then you attach that speed ring to the lights themselves. Um, I did not have that, I didn't know I needed it, and so therefore I made a big mistake. And so that night after I got done unboxing everything and realized what I had done wrong, I went online, went to Amazon, got next day shipping on a speed ring, and it arrived 10 minutes before I got home from work on Wednesday. So I obviously you saw that process as well of me um, opening the package and then putting it all together and it all works. I'm so happy. I'll have pictures of my lights and the this uh, soft box up as well. And yes, I do have reflectors that are on their way. Um, for some reason, those did not get ordered with the rest of everything. I did make sure to order those, but they didn't get here. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited. This is a really big step in having a business for photography or having a photography business, not a business in photography, um, you really do need to make sure that you have lighting. And I will go over some of the reasons as to why I chose the um, Pro Photo or Pro Photo specifically more the B1. Um, there are two different types of B series. There's a B1, which is also now a B1X. I'll explain the differences between that one and then a B2. Um, so I mainly chose the B1 because it is a little bit easier to maneuver whenever you're on location. Um, there is not a battery pack that is attached later to the um, actual light. It's all in the light itself. So that's the biggest reason as to why I chose the B1. Um, but I'll give you some different um, descriptions about the B1, B1X, and the B2 in the blog itself, so you can kind of compare and contrast for yourself as well. Um, the next big thing that I have to talk about is I'm doing, I'm finally doing my first bridal shoot next week. I leave tomorrow to go to Virginia to go shoot this, and I'm really excited about it. I. I mean, words can't explain how excited I am. Um, so we're going to be taking them somewhere along the Blue Ridge Parkway. This is a really beautiful area to go to. If you ever get the chance, go there, um, whether it's in Virginia or North Carolina, either one. Go visit the Blue Ridge Parkway because it, it is beautiful. I myself, being from Arkansas, love the mountains, so I feel right at home here. And uh, I'll have a blog up about this, so if you're curious as to how this actually ends up um, turning out, Hopefully it doesn't rain. There's a big chance of rain next week per, for pretty much every single day. So fingers crossed, pray for me, <laughs> pray that this all works out um, because I really want this to actually go really well. And um, if it does end up happening, if it doesn't rain or you know we're able to catch a break, um, there will be a blog up about this in the week following. So be on the lookout for a new blog about my very first uh, bridal shoots. Hopefully there are more to come. Um, and some other news going on in the Fuji and Pro Photo world. So um, when I first bought my Fuji X-T1, I was not able to use the TTL mode for flash. Now with a Canon, a Nikon, um, you're able to use TTL. That is something that's automatic. It's, uh, 
it kind of blew my mind that this was not something that you could already do with the Fuji cameras. Um, but seeing as how this is a very new camera in the, the camera world um, with it being mirrorless, um, I guess there's a few exceptions. So um, now there is a firmware, firmware update on the Fuji page. If you go to their firmware page, um, you'll be able to go and see if your camera, whatever X series it is that you have, if there is an, an update for it available. Uh, so you'll go there, download it. There's also different lens firmware updates as well. So check and make sure you've got everything up to date because I was able to update two of my lenses and my camera itself on Wednesday. And this is a really big deal because this firmware update for the camera itself actually now allows me to use TTL mode, um, which is really cool. If you don't know what TTL is, this is a through the lens mode whenever you're using flash. Um, this means that there are two different flashes that happen whenever you take a picture with, with flash. The first one is a measurement flash. It's kind of saying, like trying to figure out what is going on in the scene, what the settings need to be for the camera. And then the second one is using the settings that it has made to take the actual picture. And hopefully it is correct. There are mistakes that happen. I know that. Um, so this is a really cool thing that you can now do. It's more of an automatic thing now, so you don't have to sit there and change the mode every single time you go to take a picture if the setting has changed. Um, this is a very convenient thing if you're working events such as um, awards, ceremonies, weddings, whatever you want to do that has a constant changing setting. Um, TTL works really well for that. That is really what you need TTL for, in all honesty, um, because you cannot always be prepared for this this next change that comes through whenever you take a picture. Um, so that has actually led up to Profoto having some rumors that are going around saying that there is going to be a new air receiver for Fuji specifically that allows TTL to happen when you use their lights. Um, so uh, Canon, Nikon, and just recently Sony have remotes that will do this specifically. They'll do air TTL for the lights. Um, but because I guess Fuji is a little behind, kind of like Apple is with their phones, um, Fuji has not updated, so hopefully Profoto will be updating, and the rumor is that they will be doing a new remote for the Fuji within the next within the next few months. Hopefully by 2017 is over, there will be a remote that is specifically for Fuji. So right now, that means that I have to use a remote that is just manual. So that means I have to go in and change the settings anytime I need something to be different. Um, honestly, I am okay with that challenge because that makes me a little bit more comfortable and allows me to better learn the settings on my camera, on the lights, and also learn how to make sure that all the adjustments are made appropriately so that if TTL or technology in any way does fail, I can do it myself and not have to worry about it being wrong um, or at least it getting closer to where I need it to be. So while TTL is great, also know that technology does fail. Um, be comfortable with challenging yourself. Um, I am all about doing a lot of challenges, um, challenging yourself in many ways um, when it comes to um, personal lives, uh, as well as being um, professional, whatever it is, challenge yourself every day. Um, that is something that you should really do. One thing that I grew up learning, um, we had a principal when I was in middle school who would say, learn something new every day. So my way of thinking is try and challenge yourself every day. Learn something new every day, but also challenge yourself every day. Um, if you have a hard time being patient, which I know everybody does, try your hardest to be patient on something that you know is going to really challenge yourself with that. Or if you're a photographer and you only rely on the automatic settings, if you're just becoming or starting to learn getting out into the photography world and you're only relying on those automatic, switch it up learn the manual stuff. Um, so that is all for this week. I got my new B1 light kit. So excited. I can't wait to use it next week because I've got that bridal shoot. Be on the lookout for a blog about that. And Fujifilm now has a firmware, a firmware update for TTL and hopefully Profoto comes out with an Air TTL remote soon. So that is it for right now for the witness photography. I hope you'll have a great night. Have a good rest of the week and I will see y'all later.